Welcome to Coffee Powered Systems, equipping women with actionable steps to overcome overwhelm and streamline business and life. So grab your favorite drink and come hang out with me. I'm your host, Miranda Merton. Welcome to Tip Tuesday, where I give you the skinny on an app or a tool that could be useful for your personal productivity. Grab a drink. We are talking about Bookify. From Bookify's website, automate the way you fill your schedule. As entrepreneurs, a lot of times we need something to help us schedule appointments and meetings. We take a lot of phone calls and the back and forth between emails Not only can it get tiresome, but sometimes it can look unprofessional, especially if people are used to the scheduling links. There's a lot of scheduling links out there and people are making use of them a lot now. If you were listening to uh, episode eight, when I talked about Google Calendar, I mentioned that there is a feature called appointment slots on Google Calendar where you can do basic appointment setting. But if you need something a little more robust or if you want something that just looks a little bit better, you're gonna wanna use a dedicated scheduling tool. There are a lot of them out there and you're probably the most familiar with Calendly. We see that a lot everywhere. It was one of the first ones that I use. I use it with a lot of my clients as well. Uh, But today I wanna introduce you to the one I am currently using, which is Bookify. And I'll put the link down in the show notes for you so that you can go check it out. So I like Bookify because, well, it's pretty. And I like pretty things. Yes, I am basic. I do like pretty things. I don't need much, but I do like when things are, one, easy to use, and two, pretty. I tried Acuity. I actually do use uh, Acuity for one of my clients. She uses Acuity and it does the job. It's just the interface is a little clunky and old school for me. And when scheduling from the back end within the app or blocking off the times of the calendar, it's a little, it's not as intuitive as I would like. So I decided to try out Bookify for myself, my own business, and I really do like it so far. It has a lot of features on the free version. And the reason I don't use Calendly's free version is because I do have different kinds of appointments. So when I say different kinds of appointments, I mean whether I have an hour long call or I have a 30 minute intro session, stuff like that. With Bookify, you can have an unlimited type of appointment. So if you want a 15 minute call, if you want an hour call, if you want to call one call a strategy session versus calling another one a deep dive, you can do that. With Calendly, I think you only get one type you know before you can upgrade to the paid version i like to see how long i can go with an app or software before i absolutely need to upgrade to the paid version and i only upgrade to the paid version if it has features that i absolutely cannot live without and i really do need in my business otherwise i'm going to use the free version if they have one for bookify they do have a good amount of uh free features which I do love. I will be upgrading to the paid version pretty soon though, because I do want to have the ability to charge for sessions. And I'm gonna be adding a product which is gonna require people to pay for sessions. So I do wanna have that option on there. So here are some pro features that you might upgrade for. Unlimited users, calendar integration. So if you wanna integrate it with your Google or iCal, to where it reads your calendar and automatically can block off times where you're booked, that's gonna be a pro feature. I don't really need it because I book, I block out certain times just for scheduling and it's just me using it. So I don't have an assistant that's gonna possibly overbook me or double book me. Also website or Zapier integration. Now, if you wanna embed your calendar on your own personal website, or your scheduler on your own personal website, that's gonna be a pro feature. I still use, they have a really great booking website where you give people the link and they go to your Bookify website. It's really pretty and simple and most people don't care anyways. They're only on there for three seconds. So I'm not worried about the fact that it's not on my actual website. And Zapier integration is gonna be a pro feature. Again, I'm a one woman show. I don't need that much integration right now because I don't have that many appointments coming in that I need to be on auto funnel in that regard. And also 
like I mentioned before, payments for appointments is gonna be on the Pro Feature Upgrade. Now, they have a whole list of features for what you get with Pro and what you get with free. There's a lot more on there, but those are the ones that I think people are more inclined to upgrade because they need, so I just wanted to point those out. The pricing right now for the Pro plan is $9 a month if you are gonna pay monthly, and if you're one of those people that likes to pay the whole year in advance, you get a discount and that would come out to $7 per month. All right, that is my tip for today. Join me next time. Thanks for listening to Coffee Powered Systems. You can find links to everything mentioned in the episode down in the show notes or on the website at mirandamerton.com. If you enjoyed this episode and would love to continue mastering your workflows and processes, subscribe on your favorite podcast player and join me here next time.